Yo, good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. But in today's video, I'm taking my car to Super Chips um, and they're gonna remap it to a stage one remap. So it'll be interesting to see what they can do with it. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with it and how it differs from usual. I think it's just gonna be a bit more um, low down power. Uh, I think the torque's gonna be a bit higher in the lower rev range. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's go to Super Chips, drop a off at work. Woo! Yeah, drop a man off at work, have a nice day, by the way. And um, yeah, go to Super Chips, get a car and remapped. Yeah, don't forget to like the video, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe to keep up to date with the content that I produce. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in about two seconds. Alright, so we're here at Super Chips, just out there, don't know if you can see the sign up there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go see what goes on now, we're going to go and get it remapped. Hopefully the outcome will be really, really good. And um, yeah, just really looking forward to seeing what this car is capable of doing. Um, with a stage on remap, considering the stats it already has. So yeah, we'll see. Rolling road now, uh, just here. Uh, I'm with Graham from Super Chips. Do you want to explain a little bit about what we do? Yeah, I'm uh, senior calibration here at Super Chips. Um, we are we've got this Fiesta ST200 today uh, on our Maha LPS 3000 4 wheel drive rolling road. Uh, we only need the front wheels today, so what we're going to do is the car's almost prepped. We're going to drop her down into the rolling road here, um, straighten her up, get her strapped down. We'll do a stock power run first. Uh, read the car with a blue fin, modify the car with a blue fin test the car and then James is free to go and enjoy it. Yeah, car. we can see how it goes. I think that's one thing I was saying this morning was that I'm really interested to see kind of the difference drive-wise it would be. Yeah, so. the majority of what we would do with this kind of car is drivability. It's more yeah. um, drivability than, you know, everybody loves a nice horsepower number. Yeah. But we're more interested in getting the drivability right, making sure the car works as you'd expect it to work. Yeah, efficient. Um, and the power number is then what it is. Yeah. Um, Chasing a horsepower number is not what we're after. We want yeah. something that's reliable, drivable. Makes a nice increase, but it's more about that drivability over the yeah. whole river range, not just the peak power. Exactly. Right, so we'll catch you in a minute. We're just going to go and get our stuff set up and then we'll be to The go. car's on the rolling road now. We're just going to get it strapped in and everything. You've got the screen up here, which we're going to be reading from. And you've got obviously the cooling fans and everything else to go with it. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this. Uh, what this produces. There we go, connection is established with the ST. Just gonna have everything set up. Right, so that's what I was saying about um, we need to tell the dyno how fast the car's going. Yeah. Um, so 4,000 RPM of the chosen test gear. I'll now run the car up in the gear that I want. Yeah. When it reaches 4K on there, we'll align the dyno with the car. Yeah. Bring it back down to zero. Test the car. See what power it makes. Awesome. You guys can see up there, but we on a stock run we managed 213 brake horsepower as standard, which is uh, pretty incredible for a stock car. So we're going to do the run inside the car. Well, we're meeting it this time, and we can see all the lights flash up on the dashboard. But um, yeah, we've got 213 brake horsepower. What was the torque? It's about 315, 315 newbies. That's a stock, so uh, it's not bad for a stock car. Right. The dyno starts measuring at 60 kilometers an hour, so at the moment it's not measuring anything at all. Oh, okay. When that dial on the right gets up to 40, it will tell me to put it into the test gear. And then when it gets to 60, it will start measuring. So I've not caught it quite as early this time, so I've caught it. Yeah. Sort of 
second run we've done uh, 215.4 horsepower, 317 inches meters of torque. Uh, so yeah, it's a massive step up. And uh, that's also. Yeah. Normal one, 206. Yeah. So you're about 12, 13, well, no, about 6, 7, 8 horsepower up on the stock. It's big. It's crazy. Um, on the same line. Yeah. But you can see where the difference is. If you look at this, like this stock curve here, it drops off at high RPM. Yeah. The horse holds on. Yeah. That's, that's where the difference is. So what we would hope to achieve is roughly what we're seeing here, but on this car, so about 320 newtons, but much further across the river. Yeah. And about 228 to 230 horsepower. Stock. Not bad for stock at all. Like 215.4. Uh, and, um, New meters of torque 317. All right, so we've got the bluefin here, which is what we use to uh, pretty much read and program the car. Yeah. So the idea is this is uh, a, a DIY tool that you can buy from our website. Uh, it allows you to read and program your own car. Yeah. So you make a copy of the car stock software. We provide you with the right remap based on that software. And then you've got control over whether the car is mapped or not. Yeah. This is a tool and it comes with a remap for a car. Yeah. If you want to reuse it in future, you can. We can, you know, your next car, we can reprogram it to work on the next car mm. um, at a reduced cost over buying a new one. Yeah. So it only works on one car at a time, but it can be used on subsequent vehicles. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to program loads of cars, we've got dealer tools for that, but yeah. this is one car at a time. It's essentially foolproof. We do as much testing as we can here to make sure you can't do anything wrong and if you do do something wrong, we can fix it for you. So. Yeah. Puts it in the hands of a user, which a lot of people like. That's the idea. And it gives you the ability to go back to stock if you need to. Yeah. So you find the car's <coughs> diagnostic port, which is careful of your door. I'll hold it for you. On these, it's down here. Probably get in the car, it might be easier for you to film there. The bluefin is designed to tell you what to do. So once you've plugged into the ABD port, it will tell you everything that you need to do. <laughs> Already knows the car straight away. This is a Ford EcoBoost bluefin. Ah, I see. Straight so it'll only Ford. work on a Ford EcoBoost car. If you plug it into something else, it will just go, mm, I don't know what I'm plugged into. There's only three buttons on it. You only ever need that one button. So nice and simple. Ignition on. Turn the fans off so we don't die of heat. And then this will go into diag mode in a second. Yeah. There. <laughs> Which is quite it's quite dramatic the first time you see it. Yeah, it just completely ducks out the car like you see everything on the yep. dashboard just coming up now. But what we're doing now is we're putting a, a little bit of extra code into the ECU to let it provide us with what software is actually on there. So this um, progress bar will go across for saving the original takes about five minutes. And once that's done, you can send that to us. The car is usable, so once this finishes, all of this diagnostic mode will cease to exist and it will come back to being normal. Uh -huh. um, no error codes left or anything like that. You send us the file, you can drive around to your heart's content until we send you the remap file so the car's not off the road or anything. All right, so we've just downloaded the map file onto the Bluefin, which we're now gonna reinstall back into the car through the OBD port. That side of stuff's all covered in the tutorial videos that we've got online anyway, so. Yeah. Um, so if did want to get an idea of how that looks. There's all there's videos online to tell you how to do it anyway. So we want to install the bluefin. Car's go. gone into diagnostic mode. It can look very dramatic, but it's not a problem. All of this stuff will go away. I'm um, used to my dad playing around with the cars and doing funny things to him with his little diagnostic yeah, tools yeah. and everything. When this is finished, it'll all come back. All the error codes will be gone, and there won't be any issues. Just so preparing the ECU now for the. The install. That's putting our bootloader in so we can talk to the car in the way we want to talk to it. And then it installs the bluefin. Takes about five minutes. Wow. When that's done, the car is remapped. Sweet. Everything you need is on the handheld, so the stock file is on here and the modified file. 
you can switch between them just by plugging back into the car. Yeah. So the next time you plug this Bluefin in, instead of saying install Bluefin, it will say restore original. Yeah. Then the next time you plug it in, it will say install Bluefin. Just goes right. So yeah, around. if you're uh, going for a service and don't want it being picked up, even though they still can pick it up anyway, can't they, through the computer yeah, readings? There we go. That's it. That's the end of the programming process. So this will say please wait. The dash will come back on. There we go. It's all lit up again like a Christmas tree. <laughs> You get to hear uh, <laughs> my phone or the radio? Don't know. There we go. So it'll whinge and whinge and whinge, but when it's finished programming, it'll sort itself out. It's doing some funny stuff. <laughs> Pop the ignition off. And then we wait for a little countdown just to let everything shut down because on a modern car, off is not off. No, it takes a little while to sort itself out. There you go. There we go. The only reason there's an ABS fault is because we've been on the dyno. Dyno, yeah. <laughs> and I'll come you off wouldn't the see that Sweet, so that's all loaded in. We're gonna, are we doing, are we doing the rolling road now? Yeah, we'll do the rolling road test now and we can see where the power is now after we've uh, applied the map file. Right, so we just loaded up the second, uh, the stage one map to it. Um, so we're going to go and do the diner runs in now, see how it performs. Remember, we got 2.15 before. We're just loading up all the fans and everything. So hopefully we can see some gains from that. Uh, but ultimately for me, I'm looking at the, the efficiency of it and how it drives reliably with a bit more power. How fun it's going to be to drive. So yeah, we're just going to go and do the uh, little runs now and uh, kind of see how it goes. Right, going for the final run now, guys. Final run. Uh, see what we can produce this time. Right, so I'm home now. Just got back from Super Chips. I just want to say thank you to Graham and Ian and everyone on the team at Super Chips Limited uh, in Buckingham. Uh, they've been great. Um, and I had a nice little run out in the car on the way home and uh, I'm very, very impressed with, um, you know, the numbers didn't show a massively high results on the dyno, but I tell you what, on the road, it's a completely different car. And I'm gonna make a video on that to go with it. Um, to kind of hopefully show you a before and after. I've got to say, I'm really, really impressed with the drive already. It, it pulls so much harder, so good. And it, it just feels so much more funner to drive now. Like, you know, I love my car as it was, but geez, like, Super Chips have really done something cool with this map because it's transformed the car, and especially with the short shifter uh, from AirTech, which has really, really helped. But that'll be another video to come as well. But yeah, I just want to say thanks to the team at Super Chips. They've really, really helped me out. And um, hopefully in the future, we can do some more work together. And um, yeah. If you guys want to get this done, I would seriously advise you to do it uh, because it gives you the ability to remove the map if you don't want it uh, in the future or if you're taking it back to the dealership or you're getting rid of the car. This tool right here just gives you the availability, um, well not the availability, the ability to do so uh, and remove that and then reinstall it as and when you want. Yeah, it's, it's really, 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 really good value for money. You don't even have to go to them to get it fitted. But if you do want to go to them and get it fitted and go on the rolling road like I did and get some results, then by all means do it. It's a really, really, really good experience. You get to meet the team, you get to f see how it's done, they explain everything to you, and Graham's been great. Uh, so yeah, I just want to say thank you again to the team and I will catch you all in the next video. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. Uh, the link to Super Chips uh, website will be down below. They literally offer so many maps for different cars. So you've got Ford, uh, you can get the one litre Fords, and one litre Fords do so well on these maps as well. My friend Connor had one, and if you haven't seen that, uh, he's got to about 165 brake horsepower from their, um, from their remap. So yeah, make sure you go and check it out. They've got so many different car mods, Audis, BMWs, just the list goes on. Just check on their website. It'll show you everything. But yeah, without further ado, see you in a bit.